Hi, welcome to Ted Hans and Ziggy. Thank you so much for watching. And today I'm going to go over my current Sensi rotations, new year, new rotation. And these, I'm trying, I just try to get a little bit more fresher and or fruity floral. Um, if I really do want to, you know, transform those into more of like a bakery, I would add banana, I mean, I'm sorry, vanilla bean buttercream or the one from Sensationals, which is called Cupcake. These are the ones that I would um, mix, because I mix Fender, I mean, um, Sensi with Walmart, you know, all the time. But anyways, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. This is my new rotation for the new year, new scents, okay? Well, these are not new. These are just a little bit more fresher, not so heavy, and not so spicy or bakery, okay? But like if I want the bakery, add the vanilla, okay? The first one that we're going to start off with is going to be Vanilla Wave, because this is kind of like all year round. I love this scent. And this is, um, I'm going to give you the notes. It's sea salt. Uh, whipped vanilla and sticky caramel. This to me smells like a vanilla body care. It's really pretty. I really love this. I don't know what's coming back in the new catalog. The new catalog starts February 1st. And everything on Scentsy website right now is 10% off, which is really good. So I'm actually thinking about getting some room sprays, which I never really have done that. So I'm going to get some room sprays. I definitely wanted to get the um, almond one, the almond croissant. I definitely need to get a room spray of that. Hopefully they have that. Um, and I'm going to buy at least a couple, okay? So I got two vanilla waves um, to keep me going until I did place an order for my Scentsy Club. I re reinstated the Scentsy Club, and that should be coming in like in the third week of January, a couple weeks or so. So that we got two vanilla waves. The second one that we have is Sweet Pea Vanilla. This is also a all year round. Um, this one is discontinued, but it might return. I don't know if it's going to return in the next catalog, but it usually does come back from Bring Back My Bar. Um, this one is Raspberry, Sweet Pea, and Vanilla. It's just a really pretty scent, for perfect for a bedroom. I, I just love it, Sweet Pea and Vanilla. It's not too perfumey, it's more floral, and but it's a great, um, it's a great scent. It's really fresh and, you know, but it is a floral scent, but it's not too heavy. Or like kind of, um, you know, it's just a really good scent. I really like that one. The next one is Summer Soleil. I know we're not even you know, near summer, but I like this one because it's really nice and fresh. And like I said, uh, please forgive me because I still have not got a new camera. This one is discontinued, but you can possibly get any discontinued bars on Mercari or eBay, um, Poshmark even, I think. But this one is Pineapple, Coconut, and fleshy mar Fluffy Marshmallow. And this one smells so good. I like it. It's definitely got a floral, but it's got a little, little bit of the marshmallow. This will be perfect, perfect mix with a vanilla, okay? So that's Summer Soleil. Uh, these are all, I've already melted. So that one, these all, these um, Vanilla Waves, Summer Soleil, and Sleepy Vanilla, pretty good, pretty good performers. They have like either seven or above as far as throw, okay? Perfect for bedrooms, and I have some that are for living room here, okay? Uh, the next one here is Pink Cotton, and that's going to be definitely one for the living room. I don't really like this one. It's too strong for a bedroom, I think. And um, let's see here. Hopefully it'll focus. This one here is Clean Cotton, Pink Berry, and Vanilla Sugar. This one's very, very strong. I mean, this one lasts quite a while. This is definitely like a laundry scent with those berries that you get. It's good. I used to have it on my Sensi Club. Like I said, I canceled that. But I I have like two or three, and I think that's sufficient for this sack. I like it, but it doesn't knock my socks off anymore, okay? You know, our, our preferences do change, okay? The next one is going to be Banana, Banana Berry, and this one's back right now for the um, Bring Back My Bar. And this one, I love this one, okay? This one is Sweet Banana Cream and Strawberries. Basically, it's pretty basic. Um, but it's a really nice scent. It's a beautiful artificial banana. Great, um, great throw. I say about a seven out of ten, and um, I like it. I really do. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I do. I did put that in my scentsy club as well. And the next one's going to be spiced pear. 
and um, here it is. And this one is discontinued, but this one's pear, plum, plum cider, and vanilla wood. It's a really good one. I love pear scents from Scentsy. This is the only one I have left, so I'll be trying to get through some of these. It's really good. Um, I don't know, it's probably more fall, but I just want to get through it. And it still smells pretty fresh because of the pear, okay? And the next one is going to be Blackberry Meringue. And this one is Blackberry Sugared Fig. Hold on, let me get this focus here. Uh, blackberry, Sugared Fig, Black Plum, and a Pinch of Spice. I don't get any spice in this thing, in this scent. Um, but it's really, really good. Hold on. Um, it's a really good scent. It's very sweet. To me, it smells like it has marshmallow in here, but it does not have it listed. It's like plum and marshmallows, which that's what I get. I love it. It's really good. And it's a great performer. And so that one is definitely... Like right now for during transition, um, you know, between seasons, you know, usually that's where we have not, I have not filmed because usually after the holidays, there's like a lull, like you don't really know what to melt. So I just came up with these, this is what I wanted as far as fresh scents, okay? The next one here is going to be Strawberry Rose. This is a really, really nice scent right now. It does, I think it's sold out or I may not even be on the actual website anymore but you can get it like I said on Mercari. Um this one is strawberries rose petals sheer musk and this one's really good. I may only get strawberries but maybe just a hint of a floral there. I don't really get rose though. The strawberries and a floral but it's not specifically a rose in my opinion. It's really fresh. I really love this one. And it smells really nice when it's warming. It smells okay on cold, but it, it just comes to life when it's warmed, okay? And that is Strawberry Rose. It's a really good performer. I thought it was about a 7 or 8 out of 10. The next one is going to be French Kiss, which is Brown Sugar and Fig from Bath & Body Works. This one's really good. This one is um, Sweet Fig, Coconut Pulp and Cedar, and also Caramel. This one's really good. This one's just like brown sugar and fig. I love this. I wish I would have put this in my Scentsy Club and anyway, I would have kept it, you know, but I hope this comes back because I really do love French Kiss. It's so good. So that's Strawberry Rose and French Kiss. The next one here that we have is going to be Aloe Water and Cucumber. This is a classic, I think. Oh, it's a really good um, set for any kind of like, when you want something fresh. Aloe water and cucumber. I love this scent. Uh, I need to get a room spray of this as well. And this one is aloe water, cucumber peel, and palm frond with pineapple nectar. Okay. This one just smells like cucumbers. Okay. Cucumber with a little bit of watery component there. So it's definitely the aloe water. I love it. This one smells really, really good. Like when you clean your house, everything is perfect. You got your white linens and have candles burning, um, maybe like a vanilla or something. Throw in the aloe water and cucumber, and it's a dream. Okay, it's just a great, it's a great complement to any scent that you have burning as a candle, but preferably fresh or like a vanilla. Okay, that's really really good. I love that one. Um, the next one is Love Story. Okay, and this one is. Pink Jasmine, Amber, and Dark Chocolate. I don't get Dark Chocolate out of this. Um, get more like a floral. Maybe a little bit of chocolate because it's a little bit of like a, like a cocoa powder or something. Way at the bottom though. It's pretty there. I mean, it's pretty much um, very light on that note, okay? The scent is, um, the scent seems like it's a little bit, little bit stronger than the actual bar. Um, because when I bought it last year, it wasn't that strong, but it seems a little bit stronger since it's been sitting there, okay? This one's Love Story, and this one I just want to get through it um, and clear out my inventory, okay? So that is a Love Story. The next one here I have is Pink Sugar or something. Um, pink Sugar Mint. Pink Sugar Berry Mint, okay? And this one here is Raspberry Sugar Peppermint. And this one is coming back in a new catalog, okay? 
this one is I have a I have a love hate for it because I loved it and then I didn't like it and then I love it I don't know this one is really good it does have the actual berries there I don't get the peppermint at all um, it's mainly raspberries I get I don't get the musk either I mean oh, there's no musk here peppermint no, I don't get that it smells really good but this one's definitely something that I would probably you know play around with and mix other things maybe like a strawberry I do have lemon sorbet, maybe lemon sorbet to mix with this. Um, yeah, so this is something that I'll probably mix because I don't really like the scent itself. It's a little sharp for my liking. Anyway, so that's my opinion. Um, yeah, so that's that one. The next one is Magnolia Linen. I don't really like the scent, but I'm going to get through it. And this one is... Hold on a second. Let me I have all my notes here as far as the notes indicate. I'll note that are in the actual um, set well the scent notes okay and um, the next one like this is magnolia linen it's sun like sun washed linen magnolia and honeysuckle and this one is this one is returning as well this one's very strong and this one is very very strong it's definitely clean cotton but it's more like a downy or like a febreze that sort of that sort of scent this one's definitely going into my living room. It's too, way too strong for a bedroom or office. It's way, way too strong. Maybe a bathroom, only one cube. But this is more, for me, is more appropriate for the living room. You know, because it's got like, yeah, I have dogs, so perfect to kill all those scents. So that's Magnolia Linen. Now these are, these two are like major flashbacks, okay? This one is Darling Dahlia. This one's discontinued. And um, this one is Peach, Dahlia, and Strawberry. I'm trying to just get through this one. This one smells really good. It's definitely like a fruit. You definitely get the um, peach there and you get the strawberry with a hint of a floral. I don't know exactly what Dahlia smells like, but it's, it's there. It's a floral note. A nice floral note. So this fruity, fresh, you know, a fruity floral, okay? So this one is Darling Dahlia. This one probably makes it vanilla, okay, to be honest. It's a little strong for me as far as the actual floral, okay? This one next one is Midnight in Caracal. Um, and this one is like, I'm, I'm trying to get past, I'm trying to get through these here. <laughs> so this one is Current, Orange, and Plum. This one discontinued. To me, I don't really like this one. But I think I can make it work. This one's not as bad because uh, it's been sitting there. When I first got it, to me, it smelled like plastic, like very plastic Barbie doll head or something. But now it smells a little bit more floral. I, I get like a little bit of a musk here because it smells like a perfume. Or maybe like an amber or wood or something like that. But it's not too strong on that. It's definitely at the bottom. This one's pretty good. I probably would just melt this on its own. And if I don't like it, I could probably mix it with like maybe Love Story or strawberry rose you know just mix it you know play around with it and see what would work with it okay so that's midnight in caracal uh hopefully that's how you pronounce it i still have to doubt it but <laughs> i don't know the next one here is going to be flower child okay and like i said i'm trying to get past get through all these um this one is red berries wild gardenia and sandalwood this one is definitely a floral set but it's a little bit light. It's, it's, it's kind of similar to um, sweet pea and vanilla. Sweet pea and vanilla? Yeah, it's kind of similar to that. Yeah, this is really good. I really like it. And but it's not anything to write home about, but I'm going to get through it, and it's really good. It smells, like I said, sweet pea and vanilla. I prefer sweet pea and vanilla. But it's very it's very similar, but anyways, that one's discontinued. The next one is uh, Flor de Mariposa. This one was in the La, uh, La Habana collection, and this one is Jasmine, Grapefruit, and White Plum. This one's really good. I'm just trying to get past it as well, and because um, it's quite quite old. At least four years old, I'm thinking. But this one's really, really good. It's a nice floral. This one definitely I will mix with the vanilla, or maybe like that lemon sorbet, maybe even a strawberry. It's good. Maybe that pink berry strawberry or pink berry mint, strawberry mint or something. That would be good with this. And this one is Florida Morning Posa. And oh, this is really good. Okay, so I'm definitely going to melt that one. 
<laughs> and the next one is I don't have it here with, with me I couldn't find it but I never have it in my stash and it's very a paradise it's not gonna return I'm so sad about that and but it's it actually is part of the voting on the be, bring back my bar for the summertime so I am voting for that one to come back because I love Barry in Paradise and I need to put that in my Scentsy Club ASAP as it comes back. It's my, one of my favorites from Scentsy. And this one, uh, Barry in Paradise, is Sugar Strawberry, Bird of Paradise, and Vanilla Bean. This reminds me so much of Tyler um, Candle Company, Barry in Paradise. No, it's called Passion. It's like strawberries and cream, basically, and that's what Barry in Paradise to me smells like. It's a beautiful scent. It's a perfect scent all year round more. Summertime, spring and summer, but I love the scent. I melt it. Well, I burn that candle almost all year round. It's a definitely a great, beautiful, romantic bedroom scent. So that is Barry of Paradise. It's in voting right now. Hopefully, guys vote it, vote it back because I'm going to put it back into my Scentsy Club now that I reinstated my Scentsy Club. Okay. Anyways, that is all of the Scentsy bars that are actually in my current rotation for New Year. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which are your favorites. Which ones are you excited about? Hopefully, I know everything's off, 10% off, which is great. So I'm going to possibly place another order and stock up on a little, a few items, mainly room sprays and um, a couple of bars, okay? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you, and you guys have a great day and or evening, and we'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.